Spitting Image was the first, uh, in, in the British ones, was the first time I realized the power of satire through, yeah. through puppetry. And, and how they got into big trouble. Did they? Big. Oh, Parliament would have special sessions about banning that show. Oh, yeah. Which only made them push further. Wow. Oh, yeah. And that was Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, my right, favorite spitting image was Margaret it was in the men's room, and you just saw these characters lined up at the <laughs> urinal, and Margaret came in, and you heard a zip, and she st it, that was my favorite, you know. <laughs> and it's funny, right? Because there's a big character of Mar caricature of Margaret Thatcher. But again, it's the freedom of uh, creation at a remove, of, of artifice creation with humor and entertainment that John Stewart can say things about the Republicans more articulately mm -hmm. and more perceptively and more pointedly, but people accept them because you laugh and then you go, you're right. Yes. That the satire element of what you do is a, is a much freer and more open palette politically and mm -hmm. socially to talk about things. Yeah. And maybe that's another reason why we need you deeply more. Well, you know, some of my favorite stuff, and I did it as a test run for Tinka's New Dress. I did a thing called the Daisy Theater, which was uh, improv shows. I would do, every night, a two-hour improviser show. So I would make characters that had nothing to do with each other, just characters I wanted to make. And I would read three newspapers and go on stage and improvise. And out of those came Edna Rural from Street of Blood and Schnitzel from Tinka's New Dress. Like, they were rebuilt and redesigned. But, you know, by improvising, I, I got some really good characters out of it. But I would do great, funny things like Ralph Klein was the uh, premier of Alberta at that time. And, you know, that was a complete dictatorship. And Preston Manning was on the rise. So I had puppets of them in the Daisy Theater. And I remember doing one show, uh, which was a takeoff on It's a Wonderful Life, where what Alberta would be like without Ralph Klein, you know, because Ralph comes on and threw up behind a chair and passed out. And then he had this fantasy dream of an Alberta without him, you know. And the audience got to vote on whether he lived or died. And this was a puppet, you know. Um, I, and so I'm thinking of doing the Daisy Theatre again. I, didn't, I don't know if I'm that brave anymore, but man, we've got Rob Ford as mayor of Toronto right now, and I, I'm just, every day I come up with a little <laughs> thing that I wanted to do, you know? And every day in the news there's something so absurd that I think, I, I want to make that puppet in 24 hours and get it on stage and do that thing. So I think I have to do the Daisy Theatre again. I think I have to, you know, say what, what I was saying earlier and, you know, be a bit more low artist, Punch and Judy guy and just slam it around. 